Hey, soul family, it's Bunny here. Welcome to my sacred space of love and healing. I'm going to have to shut this door. Probably have to move it down, okay? Okay, that way we can sort of buffer the noise. I am, why is this camera doing this? Hold on. Okay, sorry about that. My camera was doing a weird thing. Um, I am going to do a energy read for the Divine Masculine Energies to see what the Divine Masculine is going through at this time. And so the Divine Feminines that tune into me can know what it is that their Divine Masculine is dealing with on their journey. So... Um, if you watch the Divine Feminine Energy Update, you will know that I had a poll up on my website, on my website, sorry, on my community tab <laughs> on YouTube, um, allowing people to vote for what they wanted to see on this channel. And hands down, um, everyone chose general readings. So as of this moment, I will no longer be focusing on love reads. I will be doing general reads for all of the signs, okay? I will do the bonus love reads that I that are due, which would be um, Leo, Gemini, who else earned one this month? Leo, Gemini, and Sagittarius earned a bonus love read due to the shorts. Um, they got the most views, so I will continue, I will do the bonus love reads, okay? Um, and after that, I will just be doing the general reads. Hold on for the sign. All right. I am so sorry about that. Um, and I will continue to do the divine masculine and divine feminine updates and we'll go from there. Let me see if I can adjust this camera just a bit so it's not in my way. All right. And we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with a standard tarot deck. Let's get this out of the way for a minute. Sorry about any background noise. My children are awake and extremely rowdy today. <laughs> Life with kids. Never know what you're going to get. All right. I've already welcomed in all of my guides and my angels and ancestors particularly Archangel Chamuel because he is the Archangel which helps people to find love and I always invite Lady Nada here because she helps to guide the Twin Flames into union. All right, um, I already burned my incense and I'm feeling the vibes. I hope you are too. All right, what are the first cards we have for the Divine Masculine Energies? How are they feeling? What are they going through and what do they want their Divine Feminines to know? Queen of Swords. So, uh, this makes me laugh. The Divine Masculine is not as open as the Divine Feminine is. He is feeling very closed off. Queen of Swords is someone who is very detached, who is... Um, not as open and receptive they come across as very detached and unemotional um we also have the page of wands which shows me that they are spying <laughs> um divine masculines <laughs> are spying um, on a lot of their divine feminines so if you are watching, trying to figure out what your divine masculine is doing, he's spying on you, but he's still not open and receptive. So, you know, all right. So then we have the sun. So there's the proof. There's the queen of swords, um, the page of wands. It's the card of the watcher. And then we have the sun. They are feeling the passion. It's funny on the on the Page of Wands card. If you hear a squeak, that's my chair. On the Page of Wands card, if you see, there's like some kind of plant down here, which looks like a chili pepper. So it shows me that they are feeling the fire. They do feel your fire. They're feeling the temptation. Um, 
they're feeling your passion, which is making them a little bit antsy. And they're trying to aim towards this sun energy, right? The sun is, it's Leo energy. It's very warm. It's very loving. Um, the sun is life, right? It warms and, and brings life to everything that it touches, right? So while they are trying to get towards the sun energy, I feel like a lot of them don't really know quite how to get there. Let's see if we can put some steps out for you. Knight of Wands. Yeah, so they need to follow their passions, okay? Divine Masculines, if you are watching this, the only way that you're going to get to your sun, which is your Divine Feminine, is if you follow your passions. The Knight of Wands is about jumping on that horse and starting your own fire, right? Starting your own fire with that wands and following it. You won't get there any other way, okay? There's no easy way to, to get on her level, you know, like not to say that you guys are on different levels, you know, I'm talking spiritual wise, like, you know, to, in order to achieve the sun, some work has to be done. London, you're being too loud, buddy. So some adjustments need to be made. Let's get one more card from this deck and we'll move on. I'm sorry there. Juan for sound today. Yeah, see, the, a lot of the divine masculines are going into hermit mode, which which is normal. The divine feminines have been in a sort of hermit state too, um, trying to find themselves, trying to find enlightenment, trying to wait for divine timing, you know, going within. The divine masculine is really, really in hermit mode though. One second. One more card from this deck, please. Three of Pentacles. Wow. So Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine are kind of in the same sort of energy. The Divine Feminine is working really hard with other healers and possibly forming friendships with people that are of value to her soul, right? She's finding her soul family. She's doing collaborative efforts for her spiritual journey and for herself. And the divine masculine is also in this energy. The divine feminine got the three of pentacles as well. So divine masculine is, you know, reaching out to healers, his soul family. He's doing things which are going to enrich his soul because he knows that that is what, it, what is going to get him closer to his divine feminine right and closer to the calling of his soul one second okay guys we're back <laughs> i had to take a break because i had one of my littles in the tub so she's seven but she wanted to get out of the tub and good thing my room my work room is literally right next to that bathroom <laughs> so that's why you could hear all the noise because i had the door open because i was listening for her um for when she's ready to get out and stuff but all right always on mom duty all right um where were we let's i'm gonna go to a different deck but it's it's funny how <clears throat> the divine masculine and the divine feminine are sort of like sharing the same energy timeline right Almost, except the Divine Feminine seems to be going through a little bit of a dark night of the soul. Where I would say the Masculine, his energy is not coming out quite as strong as like dealing with the deeper, darker shadows. I mean, if you watch my DF read, you'll see the Divine Feminines are diving into the deepest, darkest recesses of their shadows. I mean, they are thick in the shadow of the unconscious and fighting a lot of dark demons right now. Um, and it's to let in more light, which is necessary if they're going to find union, right? <clears throat> they have to be prepared for the shadows which they're going to face. Either you face the shadows with your person or you face them alone. Either way, you have to get those shadows pretty much mastered right before you can 
get into union because if not, your person is just going to trigger all those shadows into you, right? It's just going to be, excuse me, get this out of the way. Um, you're just going to be mirroring each other's shadows. And if you haven't dealt with them or even acknowledged them, it can be rough. All right, what else do we got for the masculines? What do they want the feminines to know about their journeys? So we have nine of cups. Wow, the lovers. Whew. Six of Cups. Wow, can I just say the masculines are really in their fields right now. Can I just say that? They are doing so much studying of you. Wow, okay, so the Divine Masculines are really starting to realize that you are their Nine of Cups. You're their wish fulfillment. And they're kind of in this like weird feeling where they're like, how did I not notice it before? How did I not see that this was, you know, my wish, my wish come true? I, it's like they didn't know it, right? They didn't even know that they had wished for you until so boom, there you are, right? And there's, they're feeling really nostalgic. They're really missing the soul connection right now. They're really, really in their feels. I mean, we got the lovers you know, crossed by the six of cups and the nine of cups. So this, the cups are all about feelings. The divine masculines are really feeling the disconnect from you. They're feeling like they really, um, they're feeling really like, almost like I, I don't want to say like they screwed it up because there's no way to really screw up the twin flame connection, right? It's always there. But they're feeling, you know, their part in the disconnect. That's what it is, okay? And they're really, really missing your loyalty and your connection. And the only thing they can do is just study your social media, which is what they're doing. Look, this is the, the, the card of learning and watching and they're trying to brainstorm ideas right divine feminines are trying to brainstorm ideas in a way to fix the disconnect right they're trying to find a way to communicate the birds represent communication but the only way they can do that is by connecting deeper into themselves right so a divine masculine if you're watching this which I don't know why you would because, you know, it's your energy. <laughs> but if, if for some, you know, beautiful, divinely guided reason you're here, you're always welcome to be here, of course. Um, you can watch the Divine Feminine read, the Divine Masculine read, it doesn't matter. Um, you know, each each is invaluable for your journey, okay? But if I, by the off chance you're watching this, um, the only way that you're going to be able to fix that disconnect with your Divine Feminine is by connecting deeper with yourself, okay? all I'm going to say about that. It's a divine conundrum, right? You cannot connect with her if you don't know what it is that you need yourself, okay? Because what you need and what she needs is ultimately the same thing, which is to be loved. You have the Hierophant. So the divine masculine is beginning to realize what I just said. The deeper he connects with himself, he realizes a deeper connection with the feminine. And while he may have been struggling with feelings of committing to himself, he realizes that the deeper he commits to himself and to his spiritual journey and to his enlightenment, then he connects on a deeper level to his feminine, right? Because ultimately that's the shared goal is a valued commitment with each other, right? Um, mutual enlightenment, a mutual spiritual journey where they're both striving to be their highest self, where they're both striving with a beautiful relationship with God and the one source of all, right? Wow, there it is. It's the Ten of Cups. They're both striving for that Ten of Cups, which is the ultimate union, like 
they're together. There's the kids. There's the happiness. It's the rainbow. It's the blessings. It's the abundance. It's the love. But the divine masculine has to make that commitment first within himself. Sorry, that's me drinking water. And ultimately to get there, <clears throat> he has to become the Hierophant. He has to dedicate and commit first to himself, to his spiritual journey, to his enlightenment in order to get here, right? The wish fulfillment, this beautiful connection of two souls. Look at that. <clears throat> Sitting there spying and watching is not going to help him. <laughs> we love you, but sitting there spying and watching on your feminines is not going to get you where you need to be. You need to be focused on yourself, okay? Divine masculines. And, you know, us feminines are very, we're tongue-in-cheek. We're just kind of, of course we delight, on, you know, when you are watching us. But at the same time, we know that that's not going to get you anywhere. It's not going to get you back into our energy fields. That's for sure. <laughs> All right. Um, let's do three cards from here. And then we'll do a animal spirit. We'll pull a major arcana card for the major journey for the divine masculine. We'll do a love oracle card. And then we're going to end with an Angels and Ancestors card for them. Wow. So the masculines are really, really feeling the disconnect right now. <laughs> oh, Lord. Big hugs, masculines. Like this, this disconnect is keeping them up at night. There's all sorts of anxious. Their fears are pronounced right now. But, you know, just like the divine feminines, they have to work through it. Divine Feminine is going through all sorts of dark nights of the soul, temptations. She's facing her demons. She got the devil card like four or five times, right? It was nonstop. That means she's facing her demons. And you have to do the same. You have to figure out what's keeping you up at night, right? So the Divine Masculines are definitely feeling a lot of anxiety. And again, look at this, Feminines. We have the Divine Masculine in his fields, up at night, can't figure out what's the next step. He needs to connect with his guides. Look, and we have the Nine of Cups again. They're finally beginning to wake up to the idea of this connection. They're beginning to realize that they may have missed the boats. They may have missed, you know, the, the Divine stirring of their soul and this connection. So initially it feels like when it came in, they might have not recognized it for what it was, which was a divine connection. They just thought it was some run of the mill type of maybe friendship or, you know, just a standard connection. And they, they're realizing now the depth of the feelings that are there because spirit just keeps bringing them back to you. Look at that. They've found something that they didn't think they were going to be able to find. To find it's the Holy Grail. Look, you see how this page is staring at this this coin with wonder and bewilderment. It's like, wow, this is not the normal average run of the mill coin, right? And again, there's the energy of watching. He's watching the coin with with bleh, I can't talk. Mercury retrograde needs to, Mercury retrograde needs to fuck off. I'm already ready for it to be done. <laughs> this this year I'm gonna bless Mercury retrograde. It's not gonna fuck with me. So we're gonna send Mercury retrograde some love right now. But so you know he's watching and staring at this coin, which is the divine feminine with wonder and awe, and going, "Wow, um, I may have underestimated this one, right?" Indeed you did. Indeed you did. All right, let's get this deck out. I'm sorry. I'm so unprepared today. I should have. Normally I always have all my decks out. And just today I'm just, I don't know. Didn't have everything. Okay, let's do an animal spirit card. All 
All right, for the Divine Masculine Energies. What is the Divine Masculine? What is their animal spirit totem right now? Okay. Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages for the Divine Masculines and the Divine Feminines. What do we got? Every day I'm shuffling swan. Wow, transformation. Transformation, loss of innocence, beauty. This painting of a swan maiden represents a common motif found in the mythologies and the folk tales of many cultures around the globe, from Native American to Slavic. Although the story varies from place to place, the basic plot is the same. A young man finds the feathered robe or skin of a swan maiden, a goddess-like creature which she has temporarily shed to assume a human form. Although the youth attempts to hide the feathers from the maiden, which allows him to possess her, the swan finds its feathers, assumes its animal form, and leaves the youth. The lost swan thus symbolizes the departure of youthful innocence and the passage to maturity. In some versions of the story, the swan dies. In Greek mythology, the swan song is the beautiful song sung by the swan just before her death. So, the divine masculine right now is going through a rite of passage. He needs to realize, right, divine feminines, that in order to possess his swan, he cannot fake or hide or manipulate her in any way. He has to come with his authentic, real swan self. Okay, so it's about... Um, it's, it's, it's a sweet conundrum, right? Because he has to realize first and foremost, he can never truly possess her, right? She's always going to be free. Now she can come to him of her own free will. If he decides to make the right steps in order to get to their union, right? But he can't do that by manipulating her or by taking things from her, right? He has to come and offer so that she can receive. That is the nature of the woman is to receive, right? And so by taking things from her that belongs to her or attempting to hide or to show a self or side of himself that is not authentic, then the swan is going to leave. Right? She's going to feel this sense of wanting to get back to herself, which is a swan. And she's going to leave, right? And he needs to come into his emperor energy in order to, you know, to approach her properly. He has to set aside all childish things. Right? While well, still remaining a child at heart, of course. All right, let's go ahead and see what the major lesson here is that the Divine Masculine is going through by pulling a Lisa Frank card. This is a deck that I have created, and it's all major arcana. So therefore, it lets us know the major lesson that the Divine Masculine right now is dealing with. What do we got for the DMs, please? Wow, we have a tower moment. Look at that. The divine masculines are learning to rebuild. Everything that is no longer serving, anything that was not authentic, everything that is fake is falling away. He has no choice now but to face it, feminines. Everything that he has tried to create under a false pretense for his life, the false success, the false sense of security, um, what, whether that is his nine to five, whether that is, you know, his security with his, with his, um, family members and who he is at the core of his being, right? This mask that he has been wearing, all of that is crumbling. And he's beginning to realize the only way back to himself is by being authentic. 
by following his soul. That's the only way he can rebuild. It's a rough lesson. It's almost like the dark night of the soul that the divine feminine is going through. But look at the end of the journey. Look at how sweet the ice cream is. He's got to have faith. He's got to have faith. It's like that George Michael song. You got to have faith, faith, faith. Baby. <laughs> oh, shoot. All right. Let's see what else we got. Let's do a love oracle card. Mm. For the masculines. And then we're going to end with a angels and ancestors card for them. All right. Let's see what else is going to come out for them. Wow, look at that. So he is seeing the signs and the synchronicities. There's 222 again. I was watching a video by this beautiful, talented reader. Her name is Bridget Rowe. She goes by Divine Essentials. On um, She has a YouTube channel. And she also has um, readings that she does on Instagram, but she goes by Divine Essentials or Bridget Rowe. Um, last name spelled R-A-U, but she had an incredible reading, which resonated so much with my soul. And she also seen the 222. Now, 222 has always been a special number to me. I won't let anybody know what it means because that's going to be one of my major signs, um, of my person because, you know, he'll automatically know what it means as well, right? Because twin souls are connected um, at, in a level that is not of this world, right? It's out of this world. It's, it's cosmic. And you're always speaking to each other telepathically. So your person will know. If, these, if there's a certain sign that resonates with you, it's also going to resonate with your person, right? But the divine masculines can no longer ignore the signs and the synchronicities when it comes to this connection with you. All right, they're seeing them nonstop. And this is spirit's way of saying, wake the fuck up. <laughs> they're going to keep hitting you over the head with it until you actually do something about it. They're not going to stop. They're going to keep saying, hello, she's the one. Hello, she's the one. Hello, she's the one. This person, this person, this person. And you're going to keep seeing her name. And you're going to keep smelling her skin. And you're going to keep, you know, envisioning her in your bed. And you're going to keep dreaming about her. And you're going to keep waking up with a rock hard erection because you're not listening to your soul. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just, went, I just went off a little bit of a tangent. I don't know where that came from. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm actually not sorry at all. I think the divine masculine needs a little bit of an ass whooping at this point in time, but <laughs> oh my gosh. And this keeps coming up as well. So, you know, the divine masculine needed a little bit of liquid courage in order to um, <laughs> make his move towards this beautiful empress who is his divine feminine. Because I don't know, maybe, maybe you, maybe you know, you did some things which were not, you know, in alignment with your soul in regards to her. And maybe you know that something needs to be done and it's not easy to admit, Hey, I was, I was being poopy, <laughs> right? We're going to end with an angels and ancestors card. Connecting now to the DM and his energy. And what does his guides and the guides that are guiding the divine feminines, what do we need to know for those that watch me and for any newcomers that might come and find my channel? All right. Ooh, this card is upside down. Wow. <clears throat> Boom. Shapeshifter, transform and unveil your gifts. Holy crap. So this is a very... A strong energy which has been following me around from a whole entire life so 
it's 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 a long story for another video but basically i come from a long line of shape shifters shape shifters shape shifters <laughs> i come from a long line of shape shifters okay so we will talk about that someday i promise but for those of you that know you know take your time and focus on developing your gifts and your strengths i'm reading it straight from the book for you in native traditions a shapeshifter is either an animal that has the capacity to change between species or a shaman who has the capacity to transform into an animal to go journeying if there is a wild animal you are probably drawn to or are fascinated by it's probably because you can transform into one in your meditation or journeying practice to go exploring in other worlds. When you shift into animal form, you can see the world through different eyes and tap into the animal's survival skills to help yourself through a particular situation. You have been through many challenges and lows, but now you are in a space of transformation. You are moving beyond your past challenges and honing your current strengths. There are opportunities for you to discover and rediscover the gifts and talents that you were born with and born to share. All of your past experiences have only helped you see how strong you really are. You are an amazing soul who can change and transform in ways that people least expect. You have many talents that you will share in your lifetime. You are guided to stay focused on the light, knowing that it will guide you forward. When this card arrives, there's also an opportunity for you to tap into the power of your spirit animal. Note if you're seeing a particular animal regularly, it's because its medicine is coming to you. Yes, very, very perfect and just a perfect place to end this reading. I hope that this brought you some clarity for all the divine masculines who have tuned in and for all the divine feminines. I hope this has given you some hope that your divine masculine is on the correct path just to where he needs to be. So don't fret. Um, if anything in this reading resonated, please smash that like button and subscribe to my channel. Both are completely free. If you hit the notification bell, um, when you subscribe, you'll be notified of every single video that I upload. You won't miss one. Also, share um, with all of your friends who are on the Twin Flame journey. It really helps me in the algorithm. And if you comment, I will be able to share your beautiful energy, which I love as well. If you'd like to book a reading with me, all of my prices are in the description box below. For those of you that have already booked readings, thank you. I will be working on them Um in this crazy holiday season so i appreciate your love and your patience thank you all for watching i love you